Hey guys, welcome back to the cabin. Oh, it's cold. It's uh, minus 11. Uh, getting back in here. Cabin, it was pretty cold inside. I got the wood stove cranking. It's about 12 degrees inside, so that's uh, not exactly comfortable. But it's starting to warm up now. Got the propane heater going, got the wood stove going. And uh, we're gonna get some progress made. Definitely a little bit of a challenge getting in. The road was not the best, but it's gonna be a good week. Gotta get some bird seed, we're all out of bird seed. Beautiful. spice rack but I've got all these mason jars full of a little bit of everything and I want to get those up off the counter because I usually keep you know stuff we're gonna cook or different kinds of food on the counter so I want to get those up and off and I'm gonna do a shelf or two right here yeah I think that's I think that's what we want that's what we need I'd say that's better. Much better. Everything's off the counter. I got all kinds of stuff. I got instant potatoes. I got rice, popcorn, sugar, brown sugar, bread flour, regular flour, brownie mix, pumpkin pancake mix, pancake mix, cocoa, coffee. Yeah. So now I can keep a little mini commissary right. I like it project for the morning with my coffee got this candle holder that my buddy Jason gave us and uh, I wasn't sure you know how much I'd like it because it's just candles but I have a whole bunch of stick candles that I picked up at a yard sale or something I have a whole box full so I hung this up over our table where we eat supper and uh, I can't believe it it throws all kinds of light it's awesome it's like perfect in here. So, uh, worked out great. The only problem was, is as these candles burn down, obviously the wax drips, drip, 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 and ended up all over the table. So after uh, day two, I'm like, yeah, this, uh, that's not gonna work for me. That's a pain in the butt. I gotta make some sort of a wax catcher. 
So I'm thinking, what can I use? What can I use? Something round, something you know, metal. Can't be anything wood or plastic. Anyway, had an idea. The tin roofing that I used over the wood stove, the pieces I brought up for this project this weekend for the, the ceiling, there's a piece over here. I said, I can use that, right? And I just uh, cut a circle, then trace some more. And I'll tell you what, uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work real nice, all right? So, like so. How's that, huh? I might uh, paint them all so they match, but I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm just sitting here with my morning coffee, snipping. And I'm gonna have to sweep really good because if I step on one of these things with bare feet, I'm gonna be hating life. <laughs> so, let's see how this comes out. Old spray paint, that's what you get. You get a mess. How's that? Finger paint. The can was frozen, so I had to find another tip. And that's why I'm getting drips. Ah. Just need it to last a little longer. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the? Oh, man. What a mess. To match the handle holder itself, I think 
think we're gonna want a little bit of black. the tip. Ah. Uh. this dry and see what it looks like I gotta say it came out pretty good I mean in this dim lighting the color is spot on I mean the iron is like a brownish blackish and I just painted these things brownish blackish son of a gun I mean I love it that's gonna work out quite nicely. Supper. Fresh bacon and eggs. 